let's go to letter D. So that will be the analysis of the volatile combustible material. No? Now for the analysis of the BCM, so um yung BCM natin that is composed of your carbon, net hydrogen, uh combined water, and we have uh, nitrogen and also sulfur. So for the analysis of BCM, so that is by means of volumetric analysis analysis of percent by weight so our bcm no so we have your carbon so that is the weight na so we have 6.25 no 10 percent yeah so that will be percent by weight we have 18.18 yeah so usually this is uh, coming from the total percentage later on. So let's uh, continue on. So our net hydrogen nito. So our net hydrogen which is 2.44 that is also taken from here. No. Then next we have your combined water. So for the combined water that will be 22. 22.54. So ito rin yan. Okay. Then our sulfur is um, given we have 1.57%. So total that one, so we have 34. Okay. I'm sorry, this is okay, so we have 34. So that is the uh, total weight per, uh, weighted percent ng uh, volatile combustible material natin. Now, that will be yung bali niya, yung percentage by weight naman. So, that will be 2.44 divided by uh, 34. So, that will be 7. Uh, so, that will be um, 7 point, uh, 7 point, uh, 17. Okay. So, if you're going to multiply that one by uh, so this 100, so it will be 7.17. Now, 22.54 divided by 34, so that is weighted percentage that will be equal to 66.29. And we have your, oh, so I forgot uh, something missing here. I forgot, sorry class. Uh, let's add the nitrogen here. Okay. So for the nitrogen, we forgot to add your nitrogen. So 1.57 or nitrogen that will be 1.2. So this is now 34. Okay. So for sulfur 1.57, so that will be uh, uh, 1.57 divided by 34. So it will be 4.62. Then for our nitrogen, it will be 1.2 divided by 34. So that will be 3.5. Okay. Now, summing up this one, we have 100% total numbers. Okay. okay. So when we analyze, if you are required uh, to analyze the percent uh, analysis of the BCM so ito yan so uh, what we have is so since sinasabi yung volatile combustible material so ito yan carbon nitrogen net hydrogen combined water sulfur and nitrogen okay then weighted nya or for, uh, total weight nya okay so that is also these properties are already given to the problem and also being solved uh, previously okay now um, the volatile carbon in the BCM so that will be uh, what part of the EBCM that is being easily evaporated or being converted to gasified. So we have total, uh, so to, in order to get that one, so we have total carbon minus your fixed carbon. So your carbon is already being given to na solo natin tong carbon na ito. So we have the value of 54.25%, no? Then minus 48%. So we have the value of 6.25 for the volatile, and that is a 6.35%, which is the volatile carbon in the uh, BCM. 
Now for letter E, so we need to determine the carolipic value of your BCM. So the equation for that one, so the equation that will be the carolipic value of BCM is equal to the carolipic value of your coal times the 100% of the value of their coal then minus the carolipic val uh, value of the carbon times their uh, percentage uh, of multiplied by the percent of their fixed carbon then divided by the volatile combustible material so percentage okay so we have already the bcm so nakuha na natin yan lang. so this one we have the and from the analysis of bcm we have the percentage total that is 34 for the combustible material so yung carolipic value so that is already given to the problem so that is equal to 22 point uh, 22 megajoule per kilogram then our peaks carbon is already determined so that is 48 percent no so we can directly substitute it into the equation and we can solve the carolipic value of bcm so when we say that carolipic value of the bcm so that is composed uh, that is the total uh carolipic value ng carbon net hydrogen combined water sulfur and the nitrogen so yun yung characteristic not so let's try to substitute now in the equation so we have now value now we have 22 diba? So that will be multiplied to 100, then minus uh, the carolipic value of your carbon, we have 33.8. Okay, then times 2 uh, percentage of your peak's carbon, which is 48. Okay. So then divided by natin be the value of your BCM so we have 34 your BCM so coming from here so it will be 34 so 34 then we have now the carolipic value of BCM which is equal to 16.988 so that will be megajoule no per kilogram Okay, so this is our answer for this one. Now for letter F, so we need to solve for the L fuel ratio. No, um, you will notice here I draw a schematic diagram the uh, for the representation for our combustion chamber or. So our, this is our combustion chamber now. So this one, our combustion chamber. Combustion takes place. Okay. Now, uh, if we will do ang um, pinakaiba na lang ng previous that we have is we have your here we ma supply mass of air also and we supply mass of fuel. So ang pinakaiba we have for solid fuel there is an ash loss. So this depends on the problem if we bend. So if given, so it will be uh, kasama doon sa mass balance natin. Then we have your flue gas ito. So we have two entering the system and two leaving the system. Okay. So if we'll do mass balance nito okay, ng diagram. So if we do mass balance, so let's do that. So we have your mass E and that will be eventually equal to your mass out. Okay, so we have no change in the system. So what is entering? We have your mass of air that will be plus the mass of your fuel. So this is equal to the mass of your flue gas then plus your ash loss if meron no so if given to the problem if there is an ash loss so yung kan ito this the uh, um, problem meron tayong ash loss dito okay so we can rewrite our equation into a form which is your mass of your flue gas so that will be multiplied to your 
mass of your air divided by the mass of your fuel then plus 1 so they are the same nito okay so they're the same just only factoring that one if you're going to distribute so they have the same uh, value the mass of air plus the mass of fuel so this is now equal to your mass of your blue gas plus your ash loss and dito if any given no okay so we can further uh, write this one so this is already in a form of air fuel ratio yung ratio ng mass of air and mass of fuel so we can write our mass of your fuel so that will be multiplied to the uh, air fuel ratio okay so that will be plus one so this is the actual air fuel ratio mine uh, equal to the mass of the blue gas plus your ash loss okay. now our um, actual air fuel ratio natin so actual air fuel ratio is now equal to stoichiometric air fuel ratio that would be 1 plus your excess air now for the stoichiometric calculation of, of pole for ultimate uh, analysis so we have the equation so that's, that will be 11.5 of your carbon so that is in percentage no? uh, percent then plus 34.5 times the hydrogen H2 minus your O2 divided by 8 then plus 4.3 for your so 4 so the unit of stoichiometric that will be kilogram of air kilogram of coal okay so substituting natin since ang, ang value ng carbon natin so we have now so writing that one our stoichiometric so 11.5 okay then multiply by the percentage of your carbon so that is 54 then calculate natin that is 54.25 then plus 34.5 then we shall multiply it by your hydrogen our hydrogen will be 6.09 6.09 then minus your O2 so we have 29.19 then this is divided by by 8 then plus no? so we'll plus 4.3 then the value of your sulfur given already 1.57 okay so our stoichiometric air fuel ratio is now equal to so that will be 7. 148 so the units is kilogram of air then kilogram of 